Okay, I want to convert the following from polar to Cartesian coordinates, which means I'm using these formulas here, where x is r times cosine theta and y is r times sine theta. So I go down here for the first one. This is r, this is theta. So x equals r times cosine theta means x equals 2 times cosine of negative pi thirds. We use our unit circle, we get 2 times the cosine of negative pi thirds is going to be 1 half, which equals 1. All right, now for y. y is r times the sine of theta. And again, I just got that from up above, my conversion. Which tells me that y equals 2 times the sine of negative pi thirds. You we use our unit circle, sine of negative pi thirds is going to be negative root 3 over 2 which means that our sine value is just negative root 3, or I'm sorry, our y value. So this ordered pair here in polar is the same as 1 negative root 3 in Cartesian coordinates. All right, let's try another example. You can try this one on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to see the solution. For this example, our r is negative 3 and our theta is pi fourths which means that sine of theta, which equals sine of pi fourths, is going to be root 2 over 2. And cosine of theta, which is cosine of pi fourths, is also root 2 over 2. I'm just getting that calculation done ahead of time. And for those numbers, I found it using my unit circle. At this point, if you're still not comfortable with the unit circle, go back, watch some of the videos for the previous chapter. Make sure that you know how to use it. Okay, x. x is going to be r times cosine theta, which equals negative 3 times root 2 over 2. This is negative 3 root 2 over 2. My y, then, <coughs> is r times sine theta, negative 3 times root 2 over 2 negative 3 root 2 over 2, which means that in polar coordinates, this is equal to negative 3 root 2 over 2, comma, negative 3 root 2 over 2 in Cartesian coordinates. And those are my two answers for this problem. Let's try going the other direction. Alright, for part A, I'm told that x is negative 3 and y is 2. First, I want to find out what r is. r is going to be the square root of negative 3 squared plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 9 plus 4, which equals the square root of 13. Now I want to find theta. Theta is going to be tan inverse of y over x which is tan inverse of 2 over negative 3. Please remember that negative. I plug this into my calculator, and I get negative 0.588. If these numbers look familiar, it's because we actually did one very similar to this above. And this tells me that polar coordinates-wise, I have root 13, comma, negative 0.588. All right, try part B on your own first, and then resume the video when you're, when you're ready to see the solution. For B, I have x is root 3, y is 1. This means r is the square root of 3 plus 1, square root of 4, which is 2. Theta is then tan inverse of 1 over root 3, can actually use our unit circle and realize that that value occurs at pi over 6. Or you can use your calculator and give me the decimal form. Either way, I'm happy. Decimal wise, that is approximately 0.482. So my polar coordinate, or my Cartesian coordinate,